One in four women experience some sort of loss, whether it be a miscarriage, stillbirth, or infant loss. And two years ago, I became a statistic. In 2013, I delivered my triplets more than 17 weeks premature. We are blessed with one survivor, but two of my children didn't make it. My daughter Abigail passed away shortly after birth. My son Parker, he died just shy of two months old. It's a club no parent wants to ever join, but for those of us angel moms and dads out there, there is help getting through the hardest days of our lives. It's the miracle of life. A sweet lullaby plays throughout St. John's Hospital when a baby is born. From people decorating their doors um, to the stuffed animals and the flowers coming in their rooms. Lots and lots of excitement and lots of uh, family and loved ones. It's a moment of sheer joy for new moms, but the pregnancy leading up to delivery can be tricky. Oftentimes they get admitted to the hospital for more surveillance and our ultimate goal is to uh, deliver healthy healthy babies. A number of concerns can emerge from lack of movement in the womb to slowed growth and other issues. But unfortunately as high-risk physicians we do see women at very high risk of losing their pregnancies and it doesn't always work out fantastic every time. Which can lead to every parent's worst nightmare. It's very very difficult for us as nurses and uh, physicians even to um, have to tell them that unfortunately they won't have a baby to take home. When a baby passes away here at the hospital, they're given a box like this one. And this one is my daughter, Abigail's. She passed away shortly after birth. And inside, there are different things that are keepsake memories, things like her hospital bracelet, or they made a special little Abigail, little with angel wings necklace for her. This is all we have. This is the only tangible thing we have from our children. And for us, it's a wonderful reminder that our children did exist. The staff at St. John's works together to create a support system for the family, making it as comfortable as possible as parents say goodbye to their newborn. Um, we want you to spend as much time with your baby as possible um, because you're, this, is, this is all the time you're going to have with your child. It's a heart-wrenching, somber day that parents of angels will never forget. And even though they spend just a short time on earth, those little babies leave big memories that will never be forgotten. As a physician, you try to separate your emotions, but unfortunately, you're, you're a human being and, and it's hard to do. And sometimes coming home after a rough day is, is difficult. It's really hard. It, it, it is. Um, every nurse deals with it differently, um, but I know that um, we never forget these babies. We never forget these people's faces. There is help out there for grieving parents. The SHARE program is a national nonprofit that began in Springfield. The group meets once a month at St. John's Hospital. For more information and the resources on child loss, just head to my Facebook page. Just search Stacy Skryzak. Coming up next week, how a unique group of volunteers is creating special gowns for angel babies.